Hey, hey Royals. Royals! Hi, my name is Rafed. And I'm Yoreli. And this and is a special Veterans Edition of Royals Week in Review. Review. Let's start with a special message from a KM veteran, Tracy Hunter. I'm Tracy Hunter. Uh, I served in the Navy for 18 years. Uh, I started out, I joined the Navy because I wanted to become a SEAL. Uh, I went to SEAL school, but I never graduated. And then I went to a ship and I was on board a carrier for three years the last conventional carrier made by the United States. Uh, I've been on uh, four continents and 13 countries, all thanks to Uncle Sam. Uh, I went into the reserves after uh, I got off of active duty in 96, and I stayed in the active reserves and was recalled after 9-11 and moved to Washington. Um, from here, I, we served uh, in this Puget Sound area, uh, doing anti-terrorism surveillance and protection for ships that were coming in and out of the Puget Sound. Um, we were working with the Coast Guard. Uh, I also went through the U.S. Navy Law Enforcement School, uh, and then I deployed to Kuwait for Enduring Freedom. When uh, Iraqi Freedom started, I was there for, uh, for the total time of seven months. Uh, my last three years, I spent in Virginia with the uh, assault craft unit four, uh, which is the Navy hovercrafts. Um, what did my service mean to me? Well, I had a lot of fun. I traveled the world. Um, serving in the Navy was uh, something that was a bigger part of something or a bigger part of me. And um, I learned skills that I've used my whole adult life. Uh, I'm proud to say that I was a part of it. Uh, definitely something bigger than myself and serve my country. Uh, the most important thing to me was the friendships and brotherhood. Um, I have friends all across the country, some in many other countries, that uh, I can go pretty much almost anywhere and have a place to stay, someone to talk to and visit and show me around. So um, it's something I'll never forget. Uh, the importance of Veterans Day uh, I see that uh, it's to honor those uh, who served and lived. Uh, most people confuse Memorial Day with Veterans Day. Memorial Day is to honor those that have served and died. But Veterans Day was originally um, the Armistice Day because it was the 11th day of the 11th month of the 11th hour when the Armistice was signed that ended the fighting during World War I and it was changed to Veterans Day in 1954 under President Eisenhower. And um, it's to honor all who served, so thank you. Yeah, Lee, do you have any relatives that are veterans? No, I don't, but we have a lot of royals who do. Here's Don Lee, our senior ASB president. 
My name is Private Lee and I'm a Civil Affairs Specialist in the United States Army. I'm proud to serve in the Army because I'm very passionate about my country. I love the people that I, that I work with and that I, I serve with. They're great individuals and they equally love my country. They're proud to serve and they're proud to help whenever needed. Anyone can serve and it's kind of like, it's kind of crazy when you find out that your neighbor, like your teacher or like um, your doctor served before. So, you know, a great way to kind of thank someone for their service, just say thank you for your service, right? It really comes a long way. And when you thank someone for their service, it doesn't, it might come off as kind of weird or awkward, but if you go for it, they'll, they'll appreciate it. You know, it might be awkward. You might go up to them and be like, thank you for your service. And they'll be like, uh, thank you. And deep down inside there, they're really thankful for you. And if you see someone in uniform during Veterans Day, or if you just see someone in uniform at all, don't be afraid to go up there and just thank them because, you know, they're giving up their time, they're giving up their their health, you know, their, their youth to be in the Army, so, or really any Army branches. So it doesn't just have to be the Army. It can be the Marine Corps, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, the Space Force be any branch. Just thank them for their service. I'm Private Erickson. I'm a fire control specialist with the Army National Guard. I'm passionate about the Army because there's there's a lot of service that goes into it. It's not just like fighting wars like you would most, mostly expect. With the National Guard, what you do is you actually respond to a bunch of different uh, emergencies. So hurricane relief, um, forest fires, all, all that kind of stuff that goes into civil service and helping out the community. That's, that's just always been a huge interest, interest to me. The Soldier's Creed. I am an American soldier. I am a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined, physically and mentally tough, trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. I always maintain my arms, my equipment and myself. I am an expert and I'm a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage and destroy the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I'm a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I'm, I'm an American, American soldier. soldier. Well, that's it for today's special episode of Royals Week in Review. I'm your rally. And I'm a fed. We'll end with a special thank you to our veterans from the KM Royals. Thank, thank you, you veterans. veterans. Thank you 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 veterans for all that you do. We appreciate you. Thank you veterans. 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 Thank you veterans for your service to our country and providing the freedom that we all enjoy and experience. Thank you veterans.